The Sacramento Kings continue to turn heads in the NBA. They are coming off an exciting 122 to 117 win over the Knicks on Thursday night on TNT. The Monte Sabonis had 24 points, 13 rebounds, and 10 assists for his ninth triple double of the season. Darren Fox had a huge fourth quarter, scoring 16 of his 24 points in the fourth for the Kings. And Malik Monk had 19 from off the bench. It was only the Kings' third time playing on either TNT or ESPN this season. But if they continue to play this well, those national television games will become a staple in Sacramento once again. The Sacramento Kings are 8 2 over their last 10 games. 13 games above 500 this season and are in second, yes, second place in the Western Conference. If I told you before the start of the season that the Sacramento Kings would be second place in the West with just a few weeks left in the season, you would have thought I was crazy. What's going on, everyone? It's Luca here back with another video. In this one, I'm going to be talking about the Sacramento Kings and how they have proved everyone wrong this season. If you guys can do me a solid favor, hit a like on the video and subscribe to the channel for more Kings and NBA content. And real quick, about 96% of you are watching my videos but aren't subscribed. So if you can make sure you are subbed with post notices turned on, that would be awesome. As it stands, the date of Sacramento's last NBA playoff game was May 5th, 2006, meaning 16 seasons and nearly 17 years have passed since the franchise has been in the playoffs way too long. The Kings have been one of the NBA's best feel-good stories of the 2022-2023 season, and all signs indicate that the drought is finally set to come to an end. The Kings are 39-26, and second in the Western Conference, and Mike Brown is guiding this explosive Kings offense that is averaging a league-high 121.1 points per game. All-star DeMontis Sabonis is having one of the best seasons of his career, and De'Aaron Fox, the longest tenured member of the Kings, waited six years to finally experience this level of success in the NBA. All he's known prior to this was losing, the coaching and front office turmoil, and the Kings' reputation for not being a place where top-level players want to play. Now, the Kings are a well-oiled machine from management to coaching to these players believing in what they can accomplish. And the fans appreciate it. Prior to Thursday's game, the Kings had sold out 12 games in a row after selling out just three games last season. This is according to Chris Heeren of Sports Illustrated. Now, the man who needs to get a ton of credit for the Sacramento Kings turnaround is Mike Brown. After the Kings win against the Knicks, Mike Brown wasn't too thrilled. He said, you can tell I'm a little frustrated. It's a great win. You take wins at this time of year but that's not how we should be playing basketball. What you guys saw tonight, I'm not happy with our performance at all, except for the fact that we got the win. Somehow, some way, we have to be better throughout the course of the ball game. He went on to say, I'm going to put pressure on DeMonte Sabonis and Foxy. They have to hold themselves to an elite level on every possession. But just as importantly, they've got to open their mouths and hold their teammates to a high standard because that ain't gonna fly, close quote. Now, Mike Brown has coached players such as Tim Duncan, LeBron James, Kobe Bryant, and Stephen Curry over the years. His words carry a lot of weight in the locker room. And Kings players mentioned that he holds everybody on the roster to the same standard. Kevin Herter said, that is the culture. There's no excuses. Like maybe it was a shock in the first month or two of the season, but that's how he coaches. He's going to stay on us. We're going to get better over the course of the year. We're going to continue to get better. We're still a young team. And now that's the expectation. That right there illustrates why the Sacramento Kings have turned it around the season. It's the impact of Mike Brown and what he's meant to these players. Now, obviously, the Sacramento Kings have a lot of talent on this team and those players have elevated their game. But having a guy like Mike Brown just puts everything together. And when the Sacramento Kings made this hiring, I was a big fan of this because Mike Brown knows what he's doing. He's coached some of the best players we've ever seen, and he knows what it takes to win in the NBA. Now, the Kings players, they appear to be responding well to their head coach and his tough messaging. The Sacramento Kings, as I mentioned, are poised to break. It's 16 year playoff draw, which is the longest in NBA history and currently the longest in major American pro sports. This Kings fan base has gone through a lot of misery over the years. The Kings right now, they are riding a 7-1 streak since the All-Star break 
They entered the game against the Knicks with a 6.9 net rating in the fourth quarter, the best in the Western Conference. And De'Aaron Fox appears to be the favorite for the inaugural Jerry West Award given to the NBA's most clutch player. I mean, De'Aaron Fox, I cannot say enough good things about this man. Every time De'Aaron Fox has the ball in clutch moments, you know he's going to come through with a big bucket. De'Aaron Fox has been so special for the Kings this season. Now, before the season, it would have been deemed a successful season for the Kings. For them just to make the play-in, let alone the playoffs, in the loaded Western Conference. But this team is not only well on their way to making the playoffs, they're in second place and they're about to host a first round playoff series and possibly a second round playoff series if they can get through. I mean, you can't sleep on this Sacramento Kings team. They're not going to just show up to the playoffs and that's it. They're going to compete and be a tough out for whoever they're going to play in the first round. With the type of swagger and confidence this team is playing with right now, they won't be afraid of anyone, even if their first round opponent ends up being the Lakers or the Warriors. Now, I'm not going to deny it. I didn't have this Kings team making the playoffs at the start of the season, but now the Kings are making me and everyone who doubted this team eat their words. The Sacramento Kings proved a lot of people wrong, and now they have a chance to do something special down the stretch. Golden One Center is going to be absolutely rocking come playoff time. Light the beam, Kings fans. You guys deserve this moment. I simply cannot wait to watch Sacramento host a playoff game. That place is going to go absolutely bananas. I mean, it has been so long since the Kings were in the playoffs too long and that fan base is craving meaningful playoff basketball and it looks like they're about to get it i'm so happy for the sacramento kings team like i said earlier in this video they are a feel-good story they are a cinderella story if you will i mean i cannot find too many people who are rooting against this kings team i mean if they go for teams like the lakers and teams in their division then that makes sense but general nba fans for the most part they want to see this Kings team succeed. I'm a Raptors fan, and I want to see this Kings team succeed. They have been one of the most fun teams to watch, and every time they play at home, it just feels different. I don't know what it is. The electricity in that building, it resonates, even when you just watch it on TV. And I can only imagine what it feels like being there. So, yeah, the Sacramento Kings, they're going to be a tough out for anybody in the playoffs. Now, I know the disrespect is already coming the Kings' way because of the teams that are in the bottom of the Western Conference and analysts have already come out and said that they would definitely take the Lakers or the Warriors in the first round against the Kings and listen you're gonna get that the Kings they gotta prove it in the playoffs they have proven it this season that they can be a team that's in fact for real but now they're gonna have to prove in the playoffs that they can take that next step and be amongst some of these elite teams when it comes to competing for a championship so Sacramento they're gonna have a tall task but they're gonna come ready this is a team that they're not going to back down. They're going to be a tough go for anybody. And I'm excited to see who the Kings ultimately do get in the first round. And if they can, in fact, win a playoff series. Now, in my opinion, I think the best case scenario for the Kings would be getting the Minnesota Timberwolves or even Dallas Mavericks in the first round. There's still a lot of time and a lot of things can happen as right now you guys see what's going on in the West. It is very, very tight. So many things can still change. But uh, hopefully one thing is certain when it's all said and done, and that is this Kings team will finally be playoff bound. What has your reaction been to this amazing season for the Sacramento Kings? And how far do you see this Kings team going this season? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. And again, guys, be sure to drop a like on the video. It helps it a ton. And please subscribe for more Sacramento Kings and NBA content. That is it for me. As always, thank you so much for watching. This is Luca signing off, and I'll catch you all again in the next video.